In lesson 2-7, we are going to continue with U.S. Traditional Multiplication, Part 3. You will need your whiteboard, whiteboard marker, your math journal, and your multiplication chart if you do not have those mastered yet. On your whiteboard, I want you to take the standard notation numbers and write them in expanded form. Let me give you an example. Go ahead and number on your whiteboard number one, two, and three. And the way that we could write this is several different ways. You can use it writing exponents or times place value. So for example, for number one, 4,723, I could write as four times 1,000 plus seven times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 3 times 1. And if I wanted to, I could write those in parentheses. You can just see it maybe a little bit better. Another way I could write this would be 4 times 10 to the third power plus 7 times 10 to the second power plus 2 times 10 to the first power, times 3 times 10 to the zero power. All right, so for number 2 and 3, I want you to try one that looks like my first example. And then why don't you try for number 3, one that uses powers of 10 in expanded form. Go ahead and write this on your whiteboard. Pause your video and do this with me. This is how you're going to um, increase your skills and be ready for middle school. Number two, I could write as two times 10,000, so it's in the 10,000s place, plus 8 times 1,000, plus 9 times 100, plus 5 times 10, and 4 times 1. For number 3, if I wrote it using exponents, 892,395. 8 times 10 to the... What power did you put? Count how many zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 to the 5th power. Plus 9 times 10 to the 4th power. Plus 2 times 10 to the 3rd power. Plus 3 times 10 to the 2nd power plus 9 times 10 to the first power, plus 5 times 10 to the zero power. Just practicing seeing a way, different ways to expand our numbers. Today we're going to be looking at two-digit numbers times two-digit numbers. So we have looked at ways of partitioning a rectangle to make our multiplication a little bit more concrete or an easier way to see it. And another way to see this would be to take 54 times 10 plus 54 times 8. What I can do then is to go ahead and multiply. I'm even going to break it down further and say, eight, if I were going to take 54 times 18, 18 again is 10 plus eight, and 54 would be like saying 50 plus four, divide that in half, and now they become extended facts. So 50 times 10 is 500, 50 times 8, 
5 times 8 is 40 with one zero. Then take 10 times 4, which is 40, and 8 times 4, which is 32. Go ahead and add all of those together. Some of them I can just add in my head. So if I take 540, I would say 540, and 400 plus 32 is 432. Add those together. 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 plus, 4 plus 3 is 7. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So that's one way of seeing how we multiply multi-digit numbers. Let's go ahead and just try one of those. And you may decide that this is not the way you like to multiply. And that is just fine. Would you on your whiteboard take 37 times 25? Go ahead and write it like you see it over here. And then over here, I actually want you to draw a rectangle, but I want you to divide this and make this 30 plus seven. Go ahead and draw that rectangle. We're gonna start over on the right-hand side. I'm gonna take 30 times 20, which is just really 25, breaking it down into 20 plus five. Three times two is six with two zeros behind it. 30 times five, well, three times five is 15 with one zero behind it. Seven times two is 14 with one zero behind it. And seven times five is 35. I'm gonna go ahead and add these numbers together. I want you to do this with me. If I take 600 plus 140 is 740. And if I just add these together in my head, 150 plus one plus 35 is 185. Go ahead and add those two to numbers together. You should have 925. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this same problem and use traditional multiplication. So if you do not have your multiplication facts memorized, you should have your chart out in front of you. First thing we'll do is take five times seven, which is 35. You're going to put down your five and carry your three over to the tens place. Now you'll take five times three, which is 15, and add in the three that you carried over. So 15 plus three is 18. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I carry over that three, I'm gonna just draw a line through it, which means I have multiplied and added that number in already. So now I'm gonna put what I tell my fourth graders as a happy zero. It's a placeholder because I'm starting to multiply now in the tens place. I'm not really multiplying two, I'm multiplying 20. So 20 times seven is 140, okay? Or seven times two is 14. I put down the four, carry my one, and multiply two times three, which is really 20 times 30, which you see over here. Two times three is six. Add in the one, you get seven. Add those two numbers together. And you get exactly the same answer. This is considered traditional multiplication. All right, would you go ahead on your whiteboard and write this problem 73 times 42. Give yourself plenty of space on your whiteboard and we're going to go ahead with traditional. Now, if you find that drawing the rectangle and multiplying by extended facts is easier, that is something that you may do as well. All right, let's take 73 times 42. The first thing we're going to do is multiply the ones place. So two times three is six. 
Now I multiply the 2 times 7, which is really 2 times 70. 2 times 7 is 14. There's no other multiply, number to multiply that 2 by, so I go ahead and write down 14. Add your addition sign, and we're going to put in what we call the happy zero, because now we are multiplying in the tens place. We're really multiplying 40 times 3, so we want our answer to be in the tens place. So 4 times 3 is 12. Put down your 2 and carry your 1 over to the next place you're going to multiply. The 4 needs to be multiplied by the 7 now. 4 times 7 is 28. Add in that 1, 29. There is no other number that I needed to multiply the 4 by, so I write down the entire 29. Go ahead and add this up. 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 9 is 10. Carry your 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Put in your comma. The answer is 3,066. Let's try one more before we get to our math journal. 11 times 89. Go ahead and wipe off your whiteboard. Let's start with our ones. The nine has to be multiplied by both of the numbers up above. Nine times one is? Nine, now multiply it by the number in the tens column. Nine times one is nine, nothing to carry over. Put in your addition sign, put in your placeholder, call it the happy zero. Now we need to multiply the eight times each of the numbers up above. So eight times one is eight, and eight times one is eight. Last thing we add is those two are the two numbers. Nine plus zero is nine. Nine plus eight is seventeen. Carry your one. One plus eight is nine. So we'll get lots of practice with this throughout the year. So we have two different ways. We call this partial products or US traditional multiplication. And here we partition it into rectangles or the other way we can say it is multiply 2 times 8 and 2 times 10, 40 times 8 and 40 times 10. And the traditional is what we just did where you take 2 times 8 is 16, carry your 1. So just to let you know those are the two different ways. Let's go ahead and start in our math journal and we will show our work so if you are ever doing long multiplication with multi-digit numbers, I expect to see work. If I see answers only and I don't see numbers carried, I will assume that you have used your calculator and I will ask that you redo it. So would you please turn to journal page 54. Journal page 54. Estimating multiplying with two-digit numbers. For problems one through three, make an estimate, write a number model to show how you estimated, then solve using tr US traditional multiplication, show your work, and use your estimate to check whether your answer makes sense. So for number one, we also have an example here to go by. Number one, 31 times 43. On the line, what is 31 closer to, 30 or 40? 30 times, and is 43 closer to 40 or 50? 40, so let's go ahead and multiply. Three times four is 12 with two zeros added on the end. Our answer should be close to 1,200. We're going to use traditional multiplication. I expect you do this with me. Three times one is Three. Now we're going to multiply the 3 times the 3, which is 9. Now we're going to go ahead and put in a 0 as a placeholder because now we're starting to multiply in the tens place. 
the four has to be multiplied by both the one and the three. So we'll go with four times one is four, and then four times three is 12. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add those numbers together. Three plus zero is three. Nine plus four is 13, carrier one. One plus two is three. And one plus nothing is one. So go ahead and see if our actual answer is close to our estimate. 1,333 is close to 1,200. Moving down the page to number two, 26 times 16. Is 26 closer to 20 or 30? Five or more, raise the score, it's closer to 30. 16, closer to 10 or 20? Five or more, raise the score, it's closer to 20. Let's go ahead and solve. Three times two is six, and two zeros added behind it. Now we're going to go ahead and use our traditional multiplication method. First thing we'll do is take six times six, which is 36. We put down our six and we carry our three over to the tens place. Now what we will do is take six times two, which is 12, add in our three. 12 plus three is 15. Now I already added that three in, so I'm just gonna draw one line through it. And now I have to multiply the one by each of the numbers up above. The one times the six and then the one times the two. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my addition sign and put in my placeholder, what I call my happy zero. I'm actually taking 10 times six, which is 60, and that's why I can't put the six in the ones. There it shows 60, nothing to carry over. Now one times two, which is two, nothing to carry over. Go ahead and add together those numbers. Six plus zero is six. Five plus six is 11. Carrier one, one plus one is two plus two is four. Our estimate was 600. Our actual answer was 416. All right, number three, last one we'll do for the lesson today. Number three, 87, is that closer to 80 or 90? And 46, is that closer to 40 or 50? Let's go ahead and multiply. Nine times five is 45. Add your two zeros behind it. Our answer should be close to 4,500. Let's go ahead and multiply. Six times seven is 42. Put down your two, carry your four over to the tens place. Our next number that we're going to multiply is six times eight. Six times eight is 48. Then we have to add in the four, so 48 plus four is 52. Now I already added that four in, so I'm gonna draw a line through it so I don't accidentally add it again. Put your addition sign, and now we put in our happy zero, our placeholder. I'm going to go ahead and multiply now the four times each of the numbers up above, four times seven, and then the four times eight. So four times seven, is 28. I carry over my two. Next, I will take four times eight, which is 32, plus two more, 34. Make sure you're lining up those numbers directly below the number that you see above. So two plus zero is two, 
2 plus 8 is 10, carrier 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. Put down your 0, carrier 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. The answer is 4,002, and that is relatively close to 4,500.